two months ago, um, I did an elf haul, and in my elf haul, I'm pretty sure in my elf haul, I said in two months I will be doing a review, and now it's officially two months. So yeah, um, in this, if you see my elf haul, and if you don't, in this review, if you don't see some of the products that were in the haul, it's because those are just repurchased items, so I don't have to show them to you because repurchased items are just, you know, the ones that I love. Um, and if you haven't seen my elf haul, I'll leave the video in the description box so you can check it out. You like those earrings? Huh? You love my earrings? Say hello, people! <laughs> First product, let's start with this lipstick, which is on my lips right now. This is the, the Elf um, in Gypsy. And this is just a pretty purple lipstick. I think it's kind of purple. Yeah. And it's just a gorgeous, I guess not really, kind of a plummy color. Um, goes on smooth. It, the color is just gorgeous. Uh, it, it smells good. It has like a really fruity smell to it, so which is nice. Um, uh, next product, let's start with the e.l.f. Makeup Mission Set Spray. Um, this is a no-go for me. It's like, uh, not really a no-go. It's more like a okay product. Like, this is supposed to, like, set your makeup. You don't, for those of you who don't know what a makeup set is, if you <laughs> for those of you who don't know what a makeup mission set spray is, it's just to keep your makeup on longer, which this doesn't do for me. Which you guys can try for three dollars. I mean, three dollars isn't gonna hurt, but I wouldn't repurchase this item. I don't think. But anyways, when I spray it on my face, all it does is feel like water is being sprayed on my face, like water. It's like taking this and it's being sprayed on my face. So that's what this. This is what it just looks like. Like, look, it drips. It the freaking I don't think a makeup mess and spray set and spray shouldn't do that. They should be a little thicker and just don't run off your face. To me it feels like it's just taking my freaking makeup off and not letting it last. But I do like it for uh eyeshadows. Um when my um eyeshadows are pigmented, I just use this instead of water and this seems to last make my um eyeshadows last longer, so that's a bonus. It's great. Yeah. So, like, I should say it's so, so product, not like a thumbs down or thumbs up product. Uh, next thing is this e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I was looking for an eyebrow kit because, um, my last time I bought an e.l.f. product was a brow pencil, and it was way too dark. So I gave it to my sister because she has darker hair than me. And now I bought another the kit instead of the pencil because those colors were just too dark for me. And in the kit there was a light, there was a an, an ash, a dark pen mink. I think there's only three of them. Light, an ash, and a dark. I might be wrong. I haven't been on there for a few months, but anyways. Uh so I just got the ash kit because the light looked way too dark. Way too dark. And so I was like, um, so I guess I'll just try the ash. Because when I put my hair up, my hair is darker. When I put my hair down, it's lighter. As you see behind the ponytail, my hair is lighter when it's down. But, yeah, so I got the ash, and it is just too dark for me again. It isn't, it's like, I wouldn't expect it to, like, make my brows darker, but it did. It's not on my brows, by the way, but it does. Um, ash is just a little too dark for me. Um, this will probably end up going to my mom. Because she has lighter hair than my sister. And, uh, well, she my mom has darker hair than me. But, anyway. Uh, so this is the gel. And this is the powder. And, I mean, the light dark for me and this is still too dark for me so I'm gonna have to go try another product 
and hopefully not wasting more money. The next thing is this Elf Bake Bronzer, it's the new Elf Bake Bronzers. Um, you might have heard me talk about this in my um, Bronzers for Even Regis. So yeah, so this is in Maui and it's like gold, can you see that? Hopefully. And this is like super gold, like, ugh. I think this would be perfect if you were going to homecoming prom, anything to do with formal dresses and everything if you want to like, or if you're a person who likes gold this is for you, but me, I would prefer it for like formal, like I said. Um, I would probably wear this if I went to homecoming prom for a gold glow. I think it'd be perfect focus camera. Um, I think it would be perfect if, um, like, my, my older sister has lighter skin than she's like, um, I kind of think it's kind of mean saying this, but I don't know how to put it another way. Um, they have pale skin, my friend Devin does too, which this would be perfect, I think, for people who have pale skin, because, just, I don't know, I think it's better for people who have paler skin than me. I hope that's not rude, I think it sounds rude, but, I don't know how to put it in another way, but, yeah. Next thing is this Elf Press Powder, and this is in sand, um, I forgot her user's name, god dang it, uh, something gal something. I uh, can't remember. I mean, come on. I just scratch her. I watch a lot of her videos. So yeah, her YouTube name will be somewhere right here. Anyways, uh, she raves about this. Uh, she said these are amazing. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to try it. And I'm actually wearing it right now. And it does cover really nice. It gives you a nice coverage and everything. And, um, and I really like it. It is nice. It ha comes with a brush in here. Well, I took, I gave the brush to my sister, but it has a compartment and everything. It comes with a mirror. You can see. But yeah, this is just an amazing product. It is very smooth on your skin. It is, yeah, it blends in nice. So I'd be purchased this in a heartbeat. Um, next product is Elf Cream Liner Eyeliner, I should say. And this is an okay product. Um, my favorite would be. My favorite cream liner would be the Maybelline Studio. I think it's called the Maybelline Studio. Or I might be wrong. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder. And it's hard not to look at the viewfinder. Um, and so yeah, this is just in black. And as you can tell, I've used a lot of this stuff so far. Um, I gotta say, it does a nice job winging my liner out. But when I first used this, I was expecting a little creamier than a little thicker. It's a little thick, actually, I think. Because um, when I wing my liner out, uh, it takes a little longer to wing it out with this, but yeah, it's an okay product. I'm going to use it until it's gone, then go back and buy the one I really like. Um, well, let's just do go with this because I showed you the camera. Okay. okay, this is the Elf Angled Eyeliner Brush, and I just adore this brush. It is amazing. The tip is just nice, the curve, it's curved. And it just gives a nice oomph to your wings. I would recommend this brush to anyone. This is me. I think this is three dollars, but yeah, this is an amazing brush. I really adore this brush. Um, next is this Elf Professionals Eye Studio brush, and I've heard people on YouTube talk about this. Like, um. A lot of girls on YouTube have this brush, and it does pick up the product very nicely, and it does put it on your lids nice too. So for a dollar, this is a thumbs up because it's amazing. I don't know what it does, but it's amazing. Well, I know what it does, but what I'm saying is I don't know how it picks up the product so well. Um, next will be this Elf Professional Bronzing Brush, and I kind of regret buying this like completely. I should have looked up all the reviews on it, um, this before I even bought it, but, cause, I was hearing, on so I was watching a video, or my sister was watching a video on, uh, br brush kit, this, the dollar brush kit, and she's, the, well, the girl said the only brush that's really good is the, the shadow brush, the, um, professional shadow brush, that's the only brush, and not, the rest of the brushes are kinda, but, yeah. So I did regret buying this because the bristle just 
freaking pokey, it doesn't pick up my product good at all, and here's another, it's freaking, but I mean, for, 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 for a, um, a beginner it wouldn't be bad, but still, it's a piece of shit. Yeah. Next product, of course not a product, but yeah, well. <laughs> And is this Elf Mechanical Curler? And I've used a lot of this, this a lot because look at it. The um, cushion, I'm gonna call it a cushion, is worn out already. I don't know if you see that. I wish you would focus. But I seriously, it is worn out from two months since I bought it. It's good it comes with a replacement because, yeah. Which is. Good because this baby works awesome. Let's go on to the eyelashes, shall we? Um, I bought two of these. These were each a dollar. I got a natural and I got a dramatic. I've used a natural, have used a dramatic because I haven't go. I don't, don't go anywhere to wear dramatic lashes, but I did it because I wanted to try them, but I haven't tried them yet. So yeah. Um, these are just amazing, the natural, they give nice length, they give it a nice, they're just gorgeous on your eyes, I'm serious, I'm telling you, they're gorgeous, I love them, I would repurchase this, um, natural kit again, I'd actually buy five at a time if I had the money, because, um, big lashes don't last long, but yeah, um, it comes with a glue, it comes with glue, I should say, and I haven't used the glue because I don't know how well it works. For a dollar, I wouldn't expect it worked at all. It won't last long, but yeah. This is having. What I'm saying is, alright, you might want to just buy another. Go buy the duo glue, I should say, because it's just amazing. And don't. I don't know how well this glue is, just go buy it. You can see. You don't know. Go. I'm gonna stop talking. And like I said, I haven't used the dramatic, but the dramatic are gorgeous. Uh. Sorry, you couldn't really see the natural because the other one is upside down. Oh well. Um, I plan on using these for Halloween because I need some dramatic lashes. Uh, last but not least is mascara. This is in my health haul, but I'm going to put in a review because it's an elf review. And my mom bought me this like three weeks ago. And I never use mascaras to tell you the truth. I hate trying the mascaras. I don't, can't see in trying new mascaras because when um, you try new mascaras, they usually are a piece of shit and you wasted five dollars on two for nothing in my camera. This is my stack. Um, but yeah, this is just became my second favorite mascara and I'm talking fast because my hair is about to die. Um, but yeah, this is just amazing product. Uh, I hope you all enjoy. See you next time.